feel like we're all getting about that age where we should just be in a mall riding around on go-karts. Go ah, hold on, Shuddy, we're fast and furious driving now. Yeah, it's getting to those times where it's all CGI go-karts. It's getting to that time where it's like a movie can... Uh, 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 a live-action film can be considered an animated movie now. That's what this movie was, at least. With, with the not, CGI not, quality. Not animated, animated, like. Yeah, animated. but like anime I said, style. Anim, I said anime to <laughs> We could have. It's like anime style. You, you know how you get in anime. How you get those ridiculous explosions and those fast paced scenes, and it's like, this is freaking mind blowing. I wish they could adopt this into live action. That's what this movie does. You make it clay animation. Oh you guys didn't see the part where Vin Diesel uses eye beams to blow up some cars? You guys remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. All I imagine is going gun in my head. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Off the Chest Podcast. I got wearing his V-neck, one hand on the wheel, other hand on a lady. It's Melvin. Well, just because I'm touching you, man. Oh. Well, I find no love. Damn it. <laughs> why, why, didn't you just say, joke, why didn't you just say the other hand on the other guy's gear stick? Oh, uh, God. Okay. Well, <laughs> and you know what? R- getting run over by both of us? You, you know, we're in cars, we're running this guy down because he's Asian. Because yeah, right. he's touching some guy's gear stick. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tim. It sucks to be when I'm in the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tim saying hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, uh, you know, sleeping in a car. So th- there's something to do with a car. I would sleep in the car. Probably yeah, because you're that lazy. Uh, it's Anjo, everybody. Yo. And this is the review for Fast and Furious 6. Now, before we get into we what we all... Right? The, uh, no, I think 6... 16. 16. Uh, 16? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What? Um, yeah, this is Fast and Furious 16. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to miss something. Yeah. They're making 23 next month. Yeah. <laughs> To coincide with the release what? of what? <laughs> to release with the uh, new Skyfall Twenty Four, yeah, it's it's to come out as well. Uh, but you know what? Let me just do a quick synopsis. Uh, so this uh, follows the end credit scene of of the race that you see at the end of Fast Five. Uh, do you guys remember? Wait, first of all, have you guys no. seen Fast Five? Yeah, yeah. before you even said no. <laughs> oh, you, you haven't. Andrew hasn't seen six or five. Oh, I haven't seen five. Oh, okay, you haven't seen five. Wow. Five. No, but the end of five doesn't link to the start. Yeah, it does. It does. That's not the race. It's similar enough. It's, it's, yeah, it's similar, it's similar but it's enough. not that specific race at the end of five. It can be. It's not, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <all right. laughs> So the movie starts off with uh, Paul Walker's character, Brian O'Connor, and, and Mia Vin finally Diesel's. having a child. A child. And uh, Vin Diesel is now with the chick from the end of the fifth one. What's her name, Melvin? Elena. Elena. From Rio. I keep, from I keep, Rio, I keep guys, forgetting that. From Rio. From Rio. Yeah. They were in Rio for the and last Rio, one. Number five. Okay. You should really watch it. That's like one of the greatest entertainment movies. I didn't see movies. it until like Friday. <laughs> what, number five? Yeah, and then I watched six. Hours. What do you think of five? Five was alright. Dude, that oh, was a ten yeah. just on entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just like that happy watching it. That I <laughs> you know what? That movie is on equal levels of entertainment that The Avengers was for me. Oh, no, no, no. Why did Derek compare to the Avengers? Uh, there were much It's a little high for me, just so I didn't expect it to be that good. Yeah. Um, but anyway, okay. Back to six! Back to six! Let me go on to six. So now, um, th- there's this heist crew in London that are stealing a whole bunch of... Military. Um, I'm helping you, buddy. You don't need to. <laughs> that are stealing a whole bunch of military I'm parts. i be silent for the rest of this movie. But you're not... <laughs> The <laughs> Continue. The Black Rock comes back and he's like, "We need to assemble our team, and we need to find our team. Team members assemble!" <laughs> and um, basically, they say, "You know, we're gonna agree to doing this as long as we can get our pardons back." Now, the reason why they're agreeing to this is because they found out that Letty, if if you follow this franchise, you know who Letty is. She's, uh... I do! Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah, Michelle Rodriguez. Who supposedly died. At the end of, uh... No, oh. at, at, the, at the start oh. of 4. At the start of 4, yeah. He's back in 6. And, um... Yeah, if, if you saw the end of 5, you the after credit scene... You do see. You, you saw that she was alive yeah. from it. Yeah. So now, uh, this kind of follows on. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much... And it then becomes this, uh... This Marvel team... <laughs> 
uh, taking down this new bad guy that's pretty much blowing up a lot of England. I mean, now when I say blowing up, I mean t- turning yeah. it into rubble. And that doesn't seem to phase anyone else. Well, he's not really blowing it up. He's just covering his escape. Oh, yeah, with dust. Yeah, from, from the rubble that he just blew up. With Formula One. He blows up one, <laughs> he blows up one bridge, what, what? and everything else is collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the tank thing. Uh, oh, in London? No, 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 that, that was in Spain. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying in London he blows up one bridge and then he just flips cars into stores. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, 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 what about the part when he's, um, when they first do, doing the assault on him and he blows up that entire that, that's a parking bridge. lot? Yeah, that's a bridge kind Is of it? thing. That's what oh, I'm calling it. Oh, okay. It's elevated. <laughs> okay, parking like structure. Park, dude. Bridge. Damn it, it's like... Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um... Melvin and I are big Fast and Furious fans. Uh, obviously, we love number five a lot. Th- th- for me, that was like a solid 9.8 based on entertainment. For Melvin, that's a 10. <laughs> so, I'm going to let Melvin start with this. Melvin, what do you think of this movie? Okay, so the Fast and Furious franchise was originally heavily story-based. All the cars they used were very... They were... What's the word for it? What's a common word? Like, a word for something common, like... Um... They were common cars. Fuck, I yeah. just used them. Yeah. English win! For, um, you know, like you had... Stereotypical. S- yeah. You had Skylines, which were, I mean, like a little bit pricey, but then you had like Supras, which are a little less pricey. And you, you were running, they were running three Honda Civics, you know, that's yeah. like a $30,000 car. And, and there were modding Civics. There were modding like cars, you know, like, and now, you know, it, it's kind of gone away from that. What, what people originally fell in love with were like, you know, like the idea of souping up normal cars and having races and stuff. And it's gone to a part where they're, Totaling Porsches every day. You know, yeah. It's just like, hey, yeah. Ferrari, buy Ferrari. Yeah. Hey, Porsche, buy Porsche. We can get it's... one whenever we want. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's kind of gone away from that street racing thing. And it's come to a very high level, high end cars thing. And it's all gone into heists. You know, it's mm. all gone into stopping and helping heists. Yeah. So. so uh, heists. And, and buff guys. Yeah. And buff guys. <laughs> and buff guys. Buff guys that uh, <laughs> shop at Baby Gap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so look, um, even with that change, I, I still like the franchise, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot less story-based, it's a lot more action-based now, but it's still fun. Overall, if you go into this movie wanting story, you're not going to be no, happy. Yeah, get very... You're not going to get too far. <laughs> you know, it, it's all about the characters that you've already fallen in love with. It's mm-hmm. all about just watching the people you know do the same things they do, you know. It's, it's just watching Vin Diesel be Vin Diesel. Watching Paul Walker be fucking Paul Walker. <laughs> So, so wait, wait, wait. Did, did Vin Diesel like just have a scene where he just stayed still and kind of posed? No, he, n- n- <laughs> no not in this did. movie. That there wasn't really uh, any. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think he did. There's that one scene where Vin Diesel and the Rock are right next to each other, just about to fight. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's yeah. there yeah. no oh, reason. Is that always the scene with Vin <laughs> Diesel like? Oh. There, 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 there's no reason for two men to pause during the fight, like at the beginning of the fight, right? right? And they just, they just pause it. midway. It's like, yeah, we're next to each other. It's kind of gay, <laughs> but. Um, then the camera turns to the villains, and they're also posing. Yeah. <laughs> so you got like four dudes. <laughs> it's, it's, they're like, hey man, I'm having a buff off. And they all buff. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, no, no. no. Um, it, it, it felt like it should have been the sequel to um, Zoolander, with all the male modeling <laughs> posing. Magnum. Honestly, actually, it kind of felt maybe a little bit expendable-ish then. Oh, oh, oh yeah. There, you say that word. Now, we'll get into that part later, but um, Tim, you've seen this. Yes. Now, I'm Give not me quickly as what you think. big of a Fast Furious fan. I do prefer the first few because they are, like N- Melvin said, more story driven. It's becoming like. Now, now when you say um, the first few, how many are you referring to? Because there's quite a bit. <laughs> one, two, four. One to four, all of them. One, two, and four. Oh, two, oh four. number one, two, and number four. The yeah. Asian guy don't doesn't even, like Tokyo Drift. Don't even think I like Tokyo Drift. Ah, uh, but um, <laughs> oh. it's it's looking we're, more and more if you. are Help me. It looks more like Michael Bay stuff now. All these ex- random explosions and action scenes where it used to all be just street racing. See, that's what I mean. Like, you get that animation style yeah, it, of it's, um, filming. It's losing what it originally was, yeah. basically. Mm. But like, Paul Walker goes to prison and he fights three guys. Yeah, man. And he wins. <laughs> and they all had weapons. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let me ask. Why those prisoners black? No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> God, you racist. Get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. I'm wondering, because he's white. I mean, you know? <laughs> Off the chest podcast does not tolerate racism <laughs> like that. It's why oh, we're yes, multicultural. We <laughs> yeah. It's why we're multicultural. So where's our white guys? And plus, we know when it comes to physical things, black guys always win. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but 
other than that, it's still an enjoyable film. If you're not really expecting too much, then it's a nice film to watch. That's usually us. Yeah. That's usually us. Actually, no. <laughs> not me. Oh. <laughs> anyway. well, me and Mel. How about you, um, about you Rakesh? Just okay, well, yeah, thing. like... As Melvin said, when this when this series first began, it was all about the cars and not about supercars, about the average car. And back when that came out, I remember when the first four, no, 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 no the first three movies came out. Everyone in the parking lot was like, "Yeah, yeah, let's race our cars. We're, we're, we're gonna mod them up. We're gonna race our cars." Even number four wasn't that bad. They were running like Ford GTs and just. General distance skylines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was, there was a sky, and there was another Civic in that one yeah. as well. They should just yeah. have police officers patrolling cinemas after Furious shows to see which releases <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had. When I saw Fast and Furious Five at um, South Bank. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there were cops out on the roads. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I originally when this film started, it was very much your hack and slash. It it, it was cool. It was like this unique type of film. No one had ever done a film like this and it was all about the cars. Now when you get into this Fast and Furious 6, it's very action based. And one thing I applause this movie for that um, Fast Five didn't do was they had a race come True. back into this True. one. Yeah. Whereas in, in the other one they got in Fast and Furious 5 they're going, let's go car for car. You know, and we're then gonna it do just this. cuts to and then it just cuts. Yeah. yeah. Even that million dollar race wasn't technically a race technically yeah. you know? it, it was it was barely a race. Yeah. Um, but the payoff in the uh, number five was the them dragging the vault across. Yeah. See, I didn't like that, but or whatever. Uh, in this one, you get... <laughs> okay, so you thought that part was <laughs> implausible. you got to completely wipe your mind when you watch these movies. you got to define the laws of physics. Because the laws of physics yeah, do not apply I to know. this it's franchise. Just, just these cars, you mean? No, 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 no. even to the humans, even to the humans, yeah, it doesn't uh, apply to them. There's uh, this one scene where they're trying to, you've seen this in the trailer, so it's not really that much spoilers I'm giving away, guys, but um, there's a part in the trailer where you see them taking down a plane yeah. with cars. Cars. three cars. <laughs> How big is the plane? It's, it's, a, it, it's a cargo plane. It's a cargo plane, plane. yeah. So it's massive. You know how big cargo planes are. These cars are... Yeah. are... Normal uh, Honda Civics. <laughs> yeah, they're like just like oh god, it's so bad. They're like Civic hatches, man. Yeah, it's and terrible. and when I say it's hatches, man. <laughs> <laughs> when I say that these guys are superheroes, they pretty much are. It's it's pretty much the Avengers two that we're watching. Better than superheroes <laughs> because th there's a good part where you see the Rock. With the best precision in the world, jump onto a go kart <laughs> yeah. and not scratch himself. Go kart. Yeah. Yeah. A big guy like him. Yeah. He he falls from a highway onto a go kart, doesn't scratch a single part of him. Goes. Yep. And he's holding onto the top of it. And later on, he's jumping out of planes into trucks. Yeah. He's jumping oh, off. Oh no, playing with the trucks more easier than the. Uh... They're both moving though. Yeah, they're both moving. Oh, and the bit, the bit on the highway where he catches Letty. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, is that that's that Vin Diesel. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, that's Vin Diesel. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and then there is a scene where you see in the trailer how Vin Diesel okay. jumps out of his car on yeah, a bridge yeah. to catch. Oh, he yeah, does, right? and then luckily yeah. hits a car with no scratches on him. <laughs> she, she, I was watching it, and like Letty actually stays in the air for a good four seconds. She doesn't move like like three four meters. Like she only moves like a meter <laughs> for a good four seconds, and it's just like, and then and the entire time Vin Diesel has enough time to race up, turn his car, and jump out. And, Come on. and with the ferocity of him jumping out of his yeah, car, he's flash. yeah. And with the ferocity of him a jumping out of his car, he's then able to have enough force matter to then move them both onto another car. That is actually plausible. That's all. That works. That, that, works. that works. Yes, because all that distance, if that it, entire that, distance. Like, he might have the higher um, momentum. Yeah, he, if he, he has, has enough momentum, he can push them both. He, he has weight on his side, so he has enough momentum. Well, he has weight to bring him down, but I don't know. It doesn't, about, it doesn't work that way. Well, gravity stay with it. It's okay, Rakesh. No, no, <laughs> it, no, it doesn't. <laughs> My point is, he's okay once yeah. he lands on the car. <laughs> like, what? And then there's another scene <laughs> where <laughs> you see this in the trailer, Vin Diesel gets shot, and... I don't know. I don't know if you've seen uh, Fast and Furious Four. When Vin Diesel gets shot, he just he shrugs it off. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? A bullet? <laughs> Bullets don't stop me. Hulk angry. <laughs> um. Now, Melvin, what specifically with you? What were your high points of this movie? 
Okay, high points. There were some cool modifications of kind of half cars, like the go kart that you guys were talking about. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it was kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a roller derby dirt car. Yeah. Mm. You know, like, and I thought that was pretty cool. Like, it was different, but it was still plausible in a sense. It wasn't like, hey, we're going to total a fucking Lamborghini. It's a, it's a go kart. It's like, it costs like 30, 40 grand to build, and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, that was a high point. I actually like that action scene a lot. That that original action scene where Ethan Shaw is running away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I really enjoyed <coughs> that scene. Um, what else is there? The the bridge chase scene was okay, not too great. It was a great positive part of this film is where in the last film, uh, Vin Diesel was telling everyone what to do. You know, he's just like, hey, you two, you know, go get me these things. I need these things for the plan. Yet this time, everyone's kind of off doing their own thing as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker are trying to help find Letty. Um, the girls, well, the two girls, the uh, main officer and Giselle, along with Tyrese and Han. Han, they're off trying to track down Ethan Shaw, yeah. and Ludacris is playing with toys. Yeah. With, with the rock. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're building cars the entire thing. Um, <laughs> the, 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 now, you mentioned one part, but where Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, where they're pretty much together for the entire film, there is one part where they, um, split apart. Yeah. But... Um, Finn Diesel comes to the same realization that Paul Walker did <laughs> when he went the entire way to, to find this piece of information. Yeah. Vin Diesel found it out in Europe, anyway. Well, that, that's pretty much the only story part where Vin Diesel says to Paul Walker that, look, you did this for yourself, you know, you went yeah. to the prison to check out what happened for yourself because you felt guilty. That they, were, yeah. they, they didn't really point it out that well. They could have, like, showed Paul Walker's guilt a lot better. Yeah. Like, they didn't, they didn't show why Paul Walker came with Vin Diesel. Like, it was kind of like half, he was trying to, like, just have well, fun and escape. You, you, and you know, you don't go to these movies expecting great acting. No, it's not great <laughs> acting. It's, 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 it's bad script writing. Bad. It's a script writing. Yeah. And acting. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to throw that well, out there. If, if they don't have the scenes, they can't act. Yeah. Know? Well, if it's not in the script, then I'm going to act it out. Oh, look, look, look. Example, well, no. For one bad acting, bad script, and look at Ewan McGregor. You cannot fix Star Wars Episode 3. <laughs> you know how good an actor Ewan McGregor is? He's a great yes, actor. Yes, he's a great actor. And there's no, that, that's the director's problem. That The director should so, have fixed them up. You can't uh, fix it. Uh, look, I've, I've got a pro problem with a lot of that movie. <laughs> Enough about that movie. Yeah. Um, and any other high points? Any other high points? Uh, humor. Humor, yeah. Tyrese is funny as hell still. So. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I, I really like... Like, number two, he was a bit too ghetto. And he was yeah. a bit too like, I'll be hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and and he, got, he got like, they were trying to make a catchphrase, but he got repetitive and it was just stupid. The thing with number two is he bugged me a lot. There was a lot in that movie where every time he practically opened up his mouth, mm. I was getting really pissed off. <laughs> but, the, but then with um, Fast and Furious, well, Fast Five, and now this new edition, Fast Six, he, was a, he, he wasn't so reserved, but... It was like the things he was saying were a little bit better. He was he wasn't acting oh, yeah. so abrasive I'd the hurt, entire time. He wasn't have, angry the entire time. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I would have hoped they you know cleaned up his character after yeah. two films. <laughs> uh, well, there's only so much one can do. Um, but um, yeah. how how do you feel about that last action scene where they're on the um airstrip? I liked everything that happened inside the cargo plane. Yeah, but outside was pretty shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there there are some massive. Bad points there, but Tim, say what you liked about it first. I was just looking at the photo. Oh, that CGI. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a few things about that where I also felt like, really? Because you really? know how they were harpooning like, the wings and stuff to yeah. hold it down. Yeah. With them, why, could, why couldn't they just like fire the harpoon into like the rotors? Because that would have, no, because that would have destroyed the rotor engines and then it would have been landed. That's logical, Tim. Exactly! God damn it! <laughs> no, no, I thought the whole thing was that they were trying to fire into that, and they kept missing. Because of, like, all the wind blowing out. No. Really? No. I think the harpoon would have enough force. No, because... No, no, no they, they were, like, custom-made no. harpoons. Okay. They were like, custom-made. Titanium yeah. and shit. And, and they had knots at the back of the harpoons. <laughs> yeah. To give them enough <laughs> <So> power. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! <laughs> hey, hey, the Fast and Furious series is built on knots. Yeah, it is. They <laughs> no, no, but... No, they weren't... A really Not even with the cars what? anymore! They wouldn't have been aiming at the engines, because when Brian gets the flap, he's like, YES! But he didn't aim for the rotor, he aimed for the flap. Yeah, no, no, he, he, he looked at everyone else, and then he aimed for the flap. I still would have gone for an engine. Once every, every, everyone, everyone else gone, it can't no, no. fly. Han and uh, Tyrese both tried to aim for the engine, they both missed. Brian looked around, he's like, I, I'll just aim for this and pull it down with you guys. Then, then they improvise. Oh yeah, I'll help you other two cars. <laughs> when they like, take on a tank, do you know what their, thing, their plan is? What? Let's improvise. <laughs> 
That's what they say, let's improvise. And do you know what their plan is to take down the plane? Let's improvise! Yeah. Um, but Tim, you're looking at a lot of negatives. Come on, give me some positives. Ah, uh, I did mention the humour. It, it's kept well throughout the entire film. Mm -hmm. Especially Tyrese. Yeah. But, um... Um... I don't know, some of the act... I'm, I'm going negative, I'm sorry. Some of the, um, <laughs> brawl action scenes, like, they take a lot of hits and still move around. Well, well have you seen how big the rock is? <laughs> yeah. No, like the chick fights. I have no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, it's, it, I, 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 see, I see it more realistic that way. They can... You well, I, fall down so fast. I actually found that fight scene where, um... The, the police chick and Michelle Rodriguez. Mm. That was a really cool fight scene. It was cool. And it was but I don't useless. think it was... <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Completely pointless scene. I mean, there's a lot of scenes where you go, this is completely <laughs> pointless, but <laughs> honestly, negate that fact. Okay. Negate it. Uh, I see, I had a lot of fun with the action. Well, it was fun because they just escalated a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, with the, the go-karts were fun. A lot of what they did was kind of crazy shit. So it was kind of crazy, over the top. Yes, you know um, in that first chase where they use that, um, the, the devices to turn off their car engines and stuff. Yeah. You know how um, later they were trying to find cars that didn't have the um, electronic transmitters or anything, so they mm. couldn't use those? Yeah. yeah. They don't show any later scenes where they try it and it doesn't work on their cars. So that was really pointless. Tim. Oh, come on! <laughs> you're trying to show logic into this. Exactly! Anyway, since you're being a negative <laughs> silly billy, so we're gonna go on to you, Anjo. I'm sorry. I and, oh, sorry, you haven't seen this. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I've been um, saying things. <laughs> now, <laughs> one of the things with uh, Fast and Furious 5, yeah, it felt like a long film, but luckily the action just kept building up, building up, and each set, one after the other, topped its predecessor. With this one, when you get around to the halfway mark, there was like a a slump, and it was a really big slump, and then it kind of brought itself back up uh, towards nearly the end of the third set, and uh, I found it a lot of fun, like, okay, so let me go into a few of the positive things, as uh, Tim and Melvin have said, there's quite a lot of humour, which I did enjoy, but there was also a lot of referencing, uh, referencing to uh, all the other films, and when this movie starts up, they have this opening credit scene, where it's back on Fast and Furious number one, and yeah. to see them all so skinny and young, it's like, whoa. Because you look at Vin Diesel when this movie starts up and you're he like, so fuck, he looks old. <laughs> no, he looks really old. And um, just to see, you know, um, to see that, it, so there's visual references in that way. There's a lot of um, metaphorical referencing, in, especially when um, you see Giselle and Han talking. Uh, there's referencing back to when... They were all in Los Angeles in the first film, and then they do referencing to it at the end. Uh, so yeah, it's all filled with that. That was a major positive thing, because it kind of felt like they were trying to get in with their roots of the film, trying to get their roots of a story. By and linking everything yeah, together. And also by showing a car race. That was something that I was really happy to see, to finally see a car race, and for them to actually talk about cars... Not just like, yeah, hey, yeah. we need we need fast cars. We need <laughs> furious right. cars. <laughs> we need fast and furious cars. Um, it was very good in that regard. We actually got to hear, like, f for those who are a fan of hearing car jargon, uh, you got to hear some of the lingo that people use. That sounds so weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't think of any other ways to say it, but, you know, no. yeah. No, I'm a fan of hearing car jargon. Yeah, <laughs> fan of car jargon. Fan car of car jargon. <laughs> car jargon. <laughs> um, but ultimately, this did not kind of live up to its predecessor of Fast Five for me. I uh, know Fast Five was a bit unexpected, though. Yeah, that's the thing. With Fast Six, you had expectations now. Mm. Um, Stupid I humanity. One thing I would like to talk to you guys about is when Hobbs' assistant turns. When you oh, find yeah, out that yeah. she's like, you know, she's actually working with the enemy. Yeah. Did you guys find that absolutely stupid and unnecessary? Yes. I did, because then, because there's, <laughs> that eliminates the fight scene. That the, that's that's what they're like badging. What, like, why, why, why is she hitting Liddy? Liddy? Why didn't, doesn't she just let her get it's away? it's all part of the plan. Oh, don't bring the perfect movie into this. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring that into this. And, and if you actually think about all the fight scenes that they have, you know, they have like an actual, they have a gun, sh a gun scene yeah. mm -hmm. taken yeah. down. Then you have Sung and Tyrese 
taking on some Asian you mean guy. Han? You mean Han? No, their actual names are Spies. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, names, that's, pretty, okay. that's pretty. Funny that's actually again. racism on my part because I was like, Tariq, yeah, that, that's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Song and Tariq, like they're going at it. They get bashed. They get bashed. Then you have um. Oh, s- s- sorry. Just quickly, let me interject. I love the fact that Han couldn't fight like another <laughs> yeah, Asian guy. Yeah. <laughs> I love that so much that he's not some over-the-top martial artist. That was actually the greatest fight scene I've seen in a while. Like, yeah. In a yeah. movie. Just yeah. like, it was, it was like, it was the sense thing of is, they were fighting another Asian. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it was so realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Okay, so, sorry, continue on. So you got those two fight scenes. You have Paul Walker in the, um, in the prison. Yeah. You have Vin Diesel and Paul Walker in the pawn shop. That's four fight scenes. Is it pawn shop? Porn shop. You know, like, Do you know what a pawn shop is? Yeah, they sell okay. porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go to masturbate in there. <laughs> yeah, then you have this the fight scene on the plane. Yeah. And there's like you can break that into three, four fight scenes if you want. There's the girl yeah. on girl scene. Yeah. There's Vin Diesel takes on big guy. And then Paul Walker takes on skinny guy. And then there's the final with Paul Walker and Vin, and uh, the Rock taking the Rock, on. Yeah. No, no, big Vin guy. Diesel. Yeah, sorry, Vin Diesel yeah, and The Rock, rock taking yeah. on. <laughs> God, so many white people names. <laughs> taking on uh, <laughs> the big guy and Ethan Shaw. Yeah. Like nine fight scenes. Here's the thing, the weird thing is as well, the, in the original few fight scenes that I mentioned with Sung and Tyrese and the gunfight, they're not even getting in cars to run away. They're getting into like a train and they're just like running away to get away from fights. And it's chasing foot people. running, yeah. It's like, come on, man, I want to see cars. Yeah. yeah. I guess they're building it up. Well, no, because then at least in uh, Fast Five, you had a little bit of car chasing yeah, yeah. in that. When they track people, they do it in motorcycles and cars, you know? They, they, they're yeah, constantly they're... trying to use it. They're training the, themselves to drive in cars. You see cars, man. Like, that's what you go to this movie to see, yeah. you know? Yeah. This, no, is... this is running. No, no offense, but like, these guys, it's like a Michael Bay film. They're trying to make it like an action film with cars involved. Yeah. It's meant to be a car film with, with action, action involved. Well, I don't know. I think by the time we get to the next one, we're going to have all the cars transform into one big car, and all the cars are going to... That, 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 that man. Furious 7 <laughs> is the new Transformers 4. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? With Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> it, it, it's honestly ridiculous, yeah. man. Like, I understand they can't always run away in cars, but like, come on, use some more cars, man. Yeah, you can. Uh, I also think that the fact that there's this one scene where they have this underground nighttime racing party and the, and then you're like fuck yeah this, this is what the original movie had you know you had the hot chicks and the skimpy clothes yeah. you had the modded cars <laughs> you had the steam flowing everywhere oh fuck yeah we're gonna see a few races we're gonna see some cars and we see one and, outside race and the, <laughs> the next shot they completely cut out of the yeah. out of this car race scene to go to a, another car race to which had no destination, had no end. You didn't yeah. know when it was going to end. Yeah. The NOS was the only indicator that it was going to end. They, they NOSed out and then you're like, okay, there's a good chance it's going to end now. And it didn't. Yeah. Oh, God. You know what? <laughs> Let's go on the ratings. Go on the ratings? Melvin. And Joe, go. <laughs> from, what I, from what I heard, I give it a 8.5. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Tim, what do you give it? 7. Uh, one reason why you want to back it up for no, a seven? It'll be too negative. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much just rewatch the last twenty minutes. <laughs> if he if he seven, says seven because you can still enjoy it if you don't think about it. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Oh, what were you gonna say, Andrew? If he keeps talking about it, his points will just go lower. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, Rakesh, man. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, um, same time. Got the same time. No, we can't do that. Oh. Uh, for a lot of this movie, I am following it just for the franchise. Uh, the big selling point, obviously, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker. To, to see that story again, to see the hot chicks that they bring into it, to see the cars. Although, it's not really about the cars now. Um, they didn't have Eva Mendes. Yeah, well, you, you had other hot chicks, also, which were it really hot. sucks to be that Elena chick. Yeah. Instantly replaced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quickly, Elsa Pataki... Or Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Personally, Elsa Pataki. I think Michelle Rodriguez is hot, but, yeah, but come on. It's just like, she's just gone. <laughs> yeah. You know what's even funnier? Michelle Rodriguez comes back. She doesn't even remember Vin Diesel. And she's just like, oh yeah, I'm with you again. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so for all those... <laughs> all those points alone, I... Okay, there was something, and then there was this after credit scene. Now, we'll get into that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But because of that as well, mm. this rating for me is going to go up to a solid 8. I love this. Um, now, <laughs> I, I loved it. It is flawed, but it's 
it's kind of fun to have a, a flawed film where you can so just... So much flaws from what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you can... Much. You can... Yeah, it's furious. furious. You know there's going to be flaws. After the first one, you know there's going to be flaws and it's going to become a stupid franchise. But it's... For, for me, at my age, I love it for what I get. Mm. Um, a <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know it. That's not the only rock on the screen. <laughs> so, yeah, and the after credit scene... Uh, so before, it was actually just like a seven and a half. And the after credit scene boosts it up for an eight for me. Mm. Now, Melvin, what do you give it? It's like a few seconds, right? I actually give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, so seven. we're all half segments here. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we average seven and a half because we go yeah. seven, seven yeah. and a half, eight, and then eight and a half. And we're going by point five. Okay. So that's like I'm nice. seven, seven point seven, 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 seven five. <laughs> yeah, look, it's a great film. It's a solid distinction. Um, to me, what fails the film is like I, I, the physics aside. I honestly don't care about the physics. I always like to see fun, cool shit happen because. You can only see it in movies. You can't yeah. see it in real life, so that's why you want to see it. Can you can totally see it in real life. <laughs> I will obviously see them doing the damn There's stuff. news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. well, so, so the physics I don't give a shit about. Bringing in tanks and stuff, that's cool. I like that. That's, you know, it's different, it's unique, it looks fun. Think I'm cool. Clean. I just think I'm 18 now. I, what, what takes it away from me is, is the fact that the cars are changing, you know, that he goes out and they buy, like, a fucking bunch of Rolls Royces and They're shit. They're, like, standard. Because they can't, yeah. like... He, he, they buy, buy a bunch of Sam Rolls Royce and they tune the fuck out of them. But it, it's still stupid as shit. Get, like, you don't get to actually see them tuning it that much, though. No, yeah, no. I know, I know. You, you Which see. is also It's just sometimes thing. they stand by the car with, like, a wrench. Yeah. With a wrench. <laughs> 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 Hulk smash! Hulk smash! You just Puny see, like, God! You just see, like, bang the window. <laughs> yup, I'm fixing it! <laughs> There's that tin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Like, I, I liked it better back in the day when the cars were, like, a lot more normal. They were like, more centered. Even in Tokyo Drift, they were just driving, like, Evos and RX-8s, yeah. you know? Because yeah. at your dwip, one of the things <laughs> that Melvin just mentioned there, with uh, number one, number two, and number three, uh, and number three I'm referring to as Tokyo Drift, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, those movies, at the time when they were released, those were the latest trends with cars. Yeah. yeah. And that's what, made, that's what gave them their own uniqueness. As much as I hate Tokyo Drift and think that's the lowest point in the franchise. I, 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 I kind of give that movie some credit because it followed the culture at the time and it followed what... It, it really did look at what audiences in a younger demographic wanted and it, it applied... It it. Yeah, it delivered. Yeah. So, now this is the really heavily spoiler part that we're going to get into right now. You guys can shut this off if you want to. YouTube.com forward slash off the chest podcast. You can find us on our Facebook name. Um, we've already spoiled it. We don't need to give him another wait, warning. Wait. Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to get onto this after credit scene. Okay, okay so yeah. Ethan Shaw has a brother, and you know who his brother is. Yes, oh. mate. No. Who his brother is? You don't know who he fucking is. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you don't get my shitty British little accent that I'm fucking doing. I'm Jason fucking Statham. I'll fuck you up, mate. Oh, okay, okay, so... Don't, don't do that. <laughs> let, let me tell you what fucking happens. Okay, so basically after the credits, um, it's... You've seen Tokyo Drift. You know the part how Han's yeah. car gets crashed and then it blows up? It's supposed to be well, it, it actually shows you <laughs> from, like from, another, yeah. from another point. It shows you a car getting crashed and then who gets out of the car? Jason Statham. And he's like... And he um, drops a, a chain... On the floor, and he goes, and then he rings Vin Diesel saying, You don't know who I am yet, but you're about to find out. And, like, in the final film where Ethan Shaw meets uh, Dominic Toretto, he goes, You know, uh, my brother said that every man has to live by a code, minus yes. precision. So he mentions that his brother taught him that, like, his brother is his idol. Yeah. And it's, you can pretty much assume that Jason Statham is the brother. Yeah. And he's out for revenge because he, you know, his brother got killed. Brother. Well, uh, so, so they've already announced number seven. It's already in pre-production. They got, Justin Lin said he's not going to be in it. They've brought in a new director. And they've already announced that Jason Statham is going to be the main villain. As to whether number seven is going to be the final one before they return one last time again, hey. I don't know. I'm more interested in whether or not it's going to take place in Tokyo. Well, it's going to take place in Tokyo, a little bit in the Middle East, a little bit in LA. So, you know, it's it's going to be a global thing again. No. We're going to have Tokyo Drift's main character, aren't we? No, he's, uh, he's going to get shot within the first 10, 20 yes! minutes. Yes! 
Can we make it a first minute? Guy? <laughs> oh, I, I reckon I reckon they're gonna bring him back for number they, seven, they and, and Jason Statham's gonna kill him. Sadly, one thing the ser- the franchise does really well is that they bring link him. in past scenes. They're gonna bring him back again. So you know that scene where he races Vin Diesel races the uh, the white guy at the end of number three. Like Lucas Black. Shows up. Well, he shows yeah. up at the end of number three. Vin yeah. Diesel. Lucas Black. And he's yeah. like, "Hey, man, say no ten second race." <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. Right. So they're gonna have to link that part in, cause, yeah, cause sadly right. this franchise does that well. They refer to their predecessors really well. And and also the part where um, Jason Statham crashes into the car. Yeah. yeah. That was shot where it was still kind of in function with Tokyo Drift. It did yeah. that really well. Uh, anyway, I guess that's about it. That's all we got. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who did stick around, <laughs> you know who we are, what we do. Thank Please you. give it a like. Give it a subscribe. We'll have a lot more content coming up for you in the next coming weeks. I know we've kind of been slow with it, but there is a reason why. We'll probably mention that on another podcast or something. But uh, study, thanks. Study, study. Not enough are... movies. Yeah, there are not. Too many movies. movies. <laughs> no, not enough good ones. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll see you around.